basic grips for seam bowling. What is effective? Seam bowling requires an upright seam to deviate off the pitch after hitting it and a constant upright seam angle to swing the ball. The standard grip is with the index and middle fingers either side of the seam with the fingers slightly apart. The thumb is positioned underneath the ball on or adjacent to the seam. Whatever position is chosen, comfortable and keeps the seam under control or release, experiment and then go for it. Grip width. Typically the fingers are slightly separated, however bowls can be effective with the fingers together or wider apart. Be cautious of getting too wide as this can result in reduced control and pace. Deliberate style balls can be delivered with the fingers in the split position. The other fingers. The standard thumb position is directly on the seam. Depending on individual hand anatomy, the thumb may sit slightly to the side. For many bowlers, the ring and pinky fingers are folded, and the ring finger will touch the ball. Often, if the touch is too tight on the ball, it adversely affects the release. How deep in the palm? The ball has to feel comfortable in the natural curve of the fingers. Getting the ball too far to the tip of the fingers or too deep in the palm of the hand often leads to a loss of feel, loss of control and a loss of pace. Deliberate style balls can be delivered using these extreme grip positions. Grip tightness. Optimal grip pressure is not overly loose or overly tight. Use a grip that feels comfortable, creates pace and keeps the seam upright and constant. Try bowling with different grip pressures and see what results you get. Swinging the ball. As you want the seam to act as a rudder and point in the direction of swing, our grip must be adjusted accordingly. Some bowlers will swing the ball holding the seam straight but will have a natural arm action that upon release points the ball in the required direction. Other bowlers will need to change the seam angle within the grip. 